Good day there everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Cliff. I'm a gem cutter from Australia and today's video is deliberately targeted for the beginner faceter. For those people who've been faceting for a while, this is probably not a video you want to watch. For people who have an interest in gemstones, this is something you may not want to watch either. So this is for the newbie gem cutter. Often with beginner gem cutters, many people just don't have a mentor or a teacher, someone there sitting next to you, helping you to learn how to facet. And then often you're using quite precious gems, sometimes garnets, topaz, even citrine or amethyst, can be worth a bit of money. And you're cutting gems that are absolutely just useless in terms of quality facets but you're sort of getting the idea but everything's out of whack you know all the pavilion facets aren't aligned and then with the girdle facets you have the same issue so let's start doing things from the very start and if you don't have access to a teacher I probably suggest find a garden rock or bush rock just a little worthless stone off the side of the road and we'll just go through the process of how you can actually just start the basics of faceting the pavilion. So basically this video will be done in real time and currently I'm just gluing a brass stop stick onto the useless piece of garden rock using super glue. I'm also using a spray on accelerator. This just helps speed in the whole process of the glue hardening. As you can see, I'm not too fussy about the whole gluing process. I just want to get this stop stick onto a worthless rock and then start the demonstration of where I cut four facets to a center point and then cut a girdle outline. So just put a bit more glue onto the top and then I'll spray on the accelerator and then we're all set to go. Incidentally, if you're not in a rush or you don't have any super glue available, you can use a two-part epoxy. Make sure it's a quality epoxy and just bond the dop stick onto the rock. Allow it to set overnight. So my camera can take about 9 minutes of continuous footage for one scene and then it wants to shut itself off and then I'll do the next scene. So basically what you're seeing in this video is all in real time. Set at 96 index. going to set it at roughly about 43 degrees as this is just a test just to help those people form a facet initially so we're going to cut down to depth so I'll just lower it a bit till I'm almost touching the disc so ready to start just turning it on high all we want to do is cut four even facets down to depth I'm just using sandstone rock out of my garden and here we go we're going to just start cutting a pavilion 96 index Flip over to the other side, 48 index.
Okay, flip over to 24 index. Can't hear anything more, so I've cut down to depth. Just a light grinding. Flip over to 72 index. coming down to depth just lightly rubbing so I've virtually cut down to depth I'll go back over to facets I'll go back over 96 yep on 96 so it's not touching anymore back to 24 I'll do looks like that needs more cutting So we're getting closer to a center point. Okay, I'm going to go a little bit lower. It quite hasn't formed. I'm going to go to 48 index. See, that has that needs more grinding. cut the depth so we can feel it. Using a little bit of pressure. Hear that? It's just it's not barely touching the disc. So everything's been ground away. So I'm gonna go back to 24. Just cut a little bit lower. Just so I've just wound that down one more. So I'm trying to form a, a fairly even center point. Now this is just sandstone. Because I'm just trying to teach people how you can just form nice even facets. You don't need to use a really expensive piece of gem. I'm back at, back at 72 index. So that's cut to depth. Go back to 96. That's cut to depth. 24, that's cut to depth, and 48, that hasn't. So, that's cut to depth. So now we have a, a pretty good central, a centre point, forming a cool ledge. Okay, so just bring it a bit closer so you can see. So this is only to help those people who are learning how to facet. So normally you facet with quartz or something a little bit more valuable. So what I've done, I've formed a center point and I've just set the angle at 43 degrees. You can choose any angle between maybe 35 and uh, 50 degrees, whatever you want, because this is just a, a test. This is stuff you should be doing as a beginner if you're having trouble trying to facet, you know, your gems like quartz or citrate, um, quartz or uh, any other type of material, topaz, whatever. Anyway, let's go on to the girdle. This is in real time. So, so far we're up to about seven minutes, seven and a half minutes. So, I'll go on to the girdle. So, to facet the girdle, we set our protract up to 90 degrees and just wind that down to get to the angle so we're going to just cut a girdle outline so we go back to I'll start at index 96 just lift that off now at this stage you can back off maybe the water just to get rid of the dripping and splashing all over the place and building up a bit of water so I've just got to relieve that yeah. I'll just 
on my splash guards. Now we're going to cut the girdle outline, even though it's on a piece of sandstone, so just start lowering my mast. So it's just touching now, might get a bit more water. So that's cutting down to depth. Cut down till you can't go any further. So I've already so flip down to index 24. So obviously my camera can only film about nine minutes in one go. Cutting girdle outline, I'll go to index 72. Index 48, so we're just forming a square girdle outline. Back to index 96. Just lowered it a bit. Back to index 72. Just want to remove this on that side. Just looking at my square, so it looks like this side, index 48, needs more removal. Let's cut down to depth. Go back to index 24. And basically we've cut a square. So let's have a look at it. So we've cut the pavilion and the pavilion outline where the girdle is and this is just with a bit of sandstone, a bit of rough rock out of the garden and that's taken probably about 10 minutes roughly all up. So this is just an example for the beginner and hopefully if you're a beginner you can just practice on a bit of garden rock starting with a 96 index at 40 three degrees let's say. Once you've cut all of the pavilion facets down to depth and try to get a, a reasonable even center point then you can start working on these outside facets. The girdle facets set your protractor at 90 degrees and try to form a square outline. So there we have it folks. I know for a lot of people they're looking at this video thinking well what this guy's done is very easy He's formed the basic shape of a gem within 10 minutes. Well, the reality is if you're a beginner and you're sitting behind that fastening machine and you do not have a instructor or a mentor, someone helping you out, it is darn hard. So in closing, I've included no background music because when you're fastening, it's really important to use your senses, particularly your hearing. It will tell you when you cut down to depth. So until the next video everyone, take care and I'll see you later.